on the last episode. Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah, I think I can! It's simple! What? Alright, let's get back to it. September 7th, 3.11pm. Detention center, visitor's room. Visitors. Oh, hello. You're back. Why, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite... moving. Not! You stinking lawyer! I hope you die! Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Have you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask me then? Hmm? She is very bipolar. For starters, how did you get so totally whacked? That man. About the man you st who stayed with you in the, ho the hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. That, that one. Huh. Maybe I had something to get here to talk. Why did... Why did you place a wire, wire tap on Maya's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned, learned that in loyal, lawyer school. Hmm. Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it! Bottom feeding scum, scum sucking lawyer! Bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Bye. Can I go? Gatewater Hotel. I can go to Gros Grosberg? Go to the hotel. September 7th, Gateway Water Hotel, room 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry to put in, for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's Rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as as a hotel where where the murder used the wiretap. We can change the the pre premium for for the room, of course. It will be a be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honest guest. Please, let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Oh wait, no, not move. I need to examine. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror. The drawer of terror, hiding in place of the murders. <laughs> it's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. <laughs> this guy's serious. I don't, I don't believe it. A bottle, of, a bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. He is crazy. Nice weather again today. See Fang Company font. Ah, yes. We plan to install a te telescope in that window, of course. As five dollars will earn you three minutes of a view of to a kill. Just kidding, sir. <laughs> By that look in his eyes, I'd say he's more more than serious. Eh, he's crazy. So, bellboy. 
What was the man with me? I want to ask you about the man who was with me. Ah, yes. He struck me as a, as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I, I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we, we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> if you had a photo of the man, I'm, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo. Hmm. About Miss May. Oh, her. So, not to boast, but I, I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I say. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. <laughs> Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on, on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. So there's nothing I can do do with him right now. Same same with May. Why can't I still go to Grossberg? September 7th, Grossberg Law, Law Offices. Huh. Looks like Gr Grossberg is out today. Again, and... No, the freaking painting's gone. Hello? Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... A fisherman. Wasn't it? It wasn't very memorable. It wasn't a very memorable painting anyhow. Mahogany. What's that, though? Old photos. There are two lying here. Something's ri been written on the, in the pen, in pencil on the backs. DL in six incident exhibit A. DL six incident exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure, I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I borrowed this photo. Sure, no one misses this one little fellow. Might be a very valuable clue. Dang it. Can I... There he is! There he is! Yeah, yeah, swap photos, swap photos. It was exhibit B. Then. Okay. Back to the hotel. Sir, I would like to... Oh. I still have previous... I'm thinking the glass will come into place soon. That's why I kept a hold, hold of these. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that, that, is the man, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about right, right in the... And I think it is swearing that, it, that that's him. And I think it is. This guy is way too excited about this. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write in the fit of it, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the, the bellboy who swore, swore the... Fit. Just hurry up and write it. All right, I'm betting that that this is the same same. This will be very good proof that he did tell. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. I, all I can think about think about during the Hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. Okay. Time to go, go back to the detention center. You again? Can't you take a kit and stay gone? No. 
Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have spiky heart. So that does it. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> that man. Batman stays into the hotel room. You tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's been accused of murder. I don't think you, you want to be pro protecting him. Hmm. Would you have so so about to to the late Miss Faye? Would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Eh. Uh. Huh. Maybe if I had some. Uh, I do have something to get her talk. Well, okay, like, my emulator just, like, pulls up. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. Where did you. Aha! A reaction! This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man you st stayed, who stayed in your hotel room the night of the m murder. No! No! That's not right! Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Yeah! A proof! Show me the proof! So close. Proof. Did you have a look at this? What's that? Bellboy's offended. He told us everything he's off. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. He told us who he was. Now I'm getting somewhere. These are fears or push your heart? What's that one do? I'm, I'm, I, I should be speaking, stupid. All I want to do is have a little chat with him. You won't tell me? Is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so e easy f for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Somehow I think you're you're not up to it, hmm? Show them a little ki kindness and they jump all over you. I have to be the opposite effect of what I hoped. Aw, poor little lawyer. So close. It's not working. Damn it! Dang it! She has new new topics to talk about. Nope. Uh. September seventh. Thing company law off law offices. Looks like Forensics Nix is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. Police really ga gave this place a working over. I doubt there. There are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Hmm. It's Mia's favorite pod plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. He's desperately clean, as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia. Guys, blue and so am I. So I'll tell Rackwas the way. Couldn't cram more legal books in here if you if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on on are filed here. Hmm. Are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Oh, nope, nope, get off. Let's go away. Hang on. They might be. You never know. Hmm. 
an old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made me cry when she saw it. I have to check it out one of these days. Will this just say the same thing? Yes. Hmm. There's nothing here. Dang it, I thought there would be. Maybe I should have pu pushed her. Let's try here. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? Ahem! Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha, you again. Um, hello, Mr. Grotzberg. Well, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial! He was there? Reminded me of myself when I was, in, when I was a youth. Do you even speak English here? I guess some, something got passed down through, through Mia. Maybe? Brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of a fresh of a fresh lemon. You see? I apologize. Hmm? I it was a it was, it was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I well I I appreciate the reminiscing, but I much rather you gave me some information. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering them. Bothering me all lot last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just my sister, the, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I, I could have done done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you uh, offer to defend her? I asked, the board, I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have the right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Never can find something that, that will inspire him to talk. The other day, I'm, I'm sure that there was a big pretentious lo looking painting on that wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where'd it go? Ah, uh, yes, well, I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. I er, sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see see how it's any of your business. Please, speak no more of the, uh, that cursed pink. What? I didn't... I... Huh. It's a minute. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? I borrowed it. Well, give it back at once! Mr. Grotzberg, tell me about the man in this photo. So, I keep on right-clicking my, like, freaking middle fingers like... Doo -doo -doo -doo. He may, may have been the, in that hotel room with April May on, on the night of the murder. Do you know something about him? Anything? Hmm. <clears throat> Very well. I'll tell you what I know. However, you didn't hear it from me, if you follow. I follow. That man is Mr. Red White. He's the he's the president of Blue Blue Corp. What? What? Red, white, blue, wow. Red, white. Hmm. Blue Corp. There there is something like a detective agency, right? There are information pros. They sell information, you see. Sensitive information. Despite his name, Mr. White has a has the blackest reputation of any man in this country. You should run should you run across to watch what you say. You wouldn't want, want him digging up any dirt on you. Huh. Selling information. That sounds like blackmail. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Hmm. I suppose. 
Mr. Red White. At last. Finally. A lead on this guy. Even if April, April May couldn't have done it, he could have. Time to take action. Now, I must ask you to leave. I need to think, think about things. Alone. Of course, sir. Uh, just to make, make sure that there's no... No things, so... Blue go up. I finally know, know where that is. Oh. This is a new place. Blue Corp Incorporated, CEO's office. What's with that surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Whoa, you are... a... very flamboyant man. Your name! What is your name? I was quite inquiribly asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably. Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. <laughs> Perhaps I, I have intimidated you with my giant-esque vocabulary. <laughs> what is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, you know, co Corporation Expansion Officer? Official? Yeah, that, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Sorry. My business deal dealings bring me into contact w with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I, I am not used to conversing with the with the wordly wordly challenge. What a fruitcake! Hmm, let me guess. You want to turn turn a first out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for, for why you... You will have come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty law lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meters off the scale. Oh. This is... Well, let's look at around the room first. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculously! Ridiculous of tea. I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is bona fide original. Worth five million for sure. Hmm. This is top floor of 20 story building. The view is quite presidential. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges, special runner-up, best participant, judges, judges cooperation prize, special good try prize. Huh. The words judges and special kind of stand out. A statue of a man holding up the world. The blue corpse sign certainly stand, stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butte kisses. What in the world? For for your for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butatious for just about anyone to to appreciate. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My my, this is quite the thing. Is modeled by. It is modeled on my body, see? Well, does it sleek, brown, sure, and not inspire you? You are a creepy guy. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of, of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my, my secretary. What a shock it was to, to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does ga gather information for, for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we, we do not, con not condu 
condone. We do not condone illegal methods. It's the in ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. What kind of pup company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question! We buy and sell various kinds of information. We... We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell... Information. In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in the case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fabulistic. Fab... Fantabulistic, is it not? On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I saw them... I saw them pay attention to, to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. White, the, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want, want me to speak, put, put me up on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, it raises a good question actually. Why didn't prosecution call him as a witness? It should have, he should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. That painting. Um, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. No, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Or, rather, my question is simple. Why is that pa painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Ah, uh, you. Devil. Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer. No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. <laughs> Worth nothing. Zilch, Zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grotty Burger. What? Ugh! Ugh! Uh, uh, he, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what do you do? What will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away. I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my expedition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grotty Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must a ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. That's maze testimony. Four plants. Come back to the law office. Uh huh? I don't think he's done to me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. Ahem! <laughs> Jumping ghost fights! Jehovah's! Oh, you! What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man that has end of days. 
Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about the whole, this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. The nice child, Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Cork a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, I'll do it, my boy. You see, it's just... Mr. Grossberg, sir. There's a giant paint hang, 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 hang right there. there is not. The one you, you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in, in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I, I should have... Guess you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. Y are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Your lovers! <laughs> oh my gosh! What? He's gay! <laughs> no. Uh. Blackmail. Blackmail. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through imitate, Im intimidation. I can see that. Blue Cor Corp is a company that ex excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. Really? Name back to the photographs. As you suspected, I, I could not stand in defense of, of Ma Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It, it is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and they're... Therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Yes, yes, I did. When it was bothering me all last night, you see, couldn't get a week of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me and sister, the poor girl. Ah, uh, yeah, this is like the same. Okay. What is the DL6 instrument? DL6 is nothing more than, than a sorting code of at least the game case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from, from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay! Indeed. She was Mia's mother. <gasps> She had been investigating a mur murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Huh. Why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was the was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. 
it is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they, they, were, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fits. Yet, if, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at, at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something that she has found. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Mr. Grossberg. To the office. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder, a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All right, let's see here. All these ca cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. There are enough about order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? A record in this file that catches my eye. A B F. Missy Fay. That's me. Me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Have check. Tarnish the Fay net. Fay name, leaving only these words. My my mother vanished. I was determined to fi find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Mar Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other w was the, the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune and threat threats on threats and coercion. His name is Huh, the record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Take a look. The address? I'm not sure. Skim. Uh well not. I guess. Biggest part's here and ends with S suicide. Yeah. Clinton has suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia's Mia thought he was involved with these suicides. White drove them all to I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find out find the most disturbing one. Alright. Check the other one. What? At least check through this. T U I know. W. White. Here we go. The entire section the entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Check him. So W is missing. Try W section is missing. Was it taken? Go back to Grossberg. Oh, That's more of a right to use quiz now. I'm right now. Right, Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. That's in trouble. So I'm trying, trying to have a feeling I know what it is.
still get water egg tail. Hmm. The bubble boy seems to be out. Huh? That's the sound of water coming from the shower. <laughs> La di da! Money making, money making, guy got the money making blues. Someone seems to enjoy washing the showers. I can check this now. Screwdriver stuck. Better not touch it. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. Uh. Ah, still scene painting. Wait. Should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. <laughs> A vase, as expected. I'm not good with flower names, except maybe tulips and sunflowers. <laughs> the bed. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye catching here. I suppose I can't say I can see. Fing Company Law Offices, of course. So there's nothing for me to do here. Don't want to go to the detention center, I, I already know. So, 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 so. Let, let me just go back to Gr Grossberg and I'll show up this. So she was investigating Red Fly as expected. As I expected. Well, if you want one to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Nope, I still don't have anything to say to him, so... Okay. Try the desk. Mia, uh, so... There's nothing for, for me, me to do here besides... I get that thing. I can't, can't really go to the detention center because there, there's no. Free. Let's just try. Apparently, Miss May is is in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. All right. So I, I can't talk to her anyway. There's only one place left to go. Blue Corp. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems th the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear, na I fear a nasty in accident might may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Blackmail. Okay. <laughs> so nice, man. Guys, I've got to put him on the spot quick. Stop that! Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. <laughs> I think we're past the talk about April May. I've got. To put this guy on the spot quick. Hmm? What's the matter? You seem distressed. So. Let me just save. I don't know what this will do. It's the only clue that Mia left for me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? There's an article describing the suicide of a politician. It was embezzling, embezzling secret government funds. Then one day, word got out. Word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me. How? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia. She had a file filled with articles like this. 
Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. <gasps> okay, so I was supposed to show him, okay. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Politic politician! Blackmail. You're blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and co 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 hundreds of others. You were involved in all, all the suicide ca cases that me investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong? What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one that killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Wrong? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Miss White. You're absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I found him. He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you in insinuating? Mia was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all, all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child would work it out, Miss White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't, we won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the, to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White! That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief. Chief Prosecutor? I've changed my mind. I want to te testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I have wit I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude! I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but he could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner! The hatchet man! The liquidator! The killer man! What?! Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor? I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are, you are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point my finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case will it's as good as seldom. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lo lawyer so so stupendously inept that they will make you even look, look com competent. I, I feel faint. Detective Gunshu, reporting, sir. Ah, Buds! Harry Buds! Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, pal. But is... Was that murderer, right? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. Wh what? Take this discreditable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Am I gonna go to jail now? September 8th, 3.37 p.m. Detention Center, Visitor's Room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Miss White's go going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be, uh, be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was si assigned to me by, by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya! G 
great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha. <laughs> now I'm afraid we we'll switch places. What? You mean you? I explained what what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you! This has gone too far! Let me blow up my cheeks! <laughs> Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... my defense lawyer tomorrow. All right! Huh? Leave it to me! I'm Mia's sister, after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. Wasn't it ESP that ran in your blood? I'm, I'd better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. W wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding, it was a joke. No way! No, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know that you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here do, and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, then come to the court tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proce proceedings and are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty, guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow, the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me, or him. 